This is a good angle. I don't know if this is a good angle, but you know. <laughs> Have I committed to it? I think so. <sighs> Let's roll the intro. Hello everyone, I'm Monica and welcome back to my channel when you read where I talk about books and things. And you know, I fucking hate New Year's resolutions, but I did think that I would talk to you a little bit about what I what you can expect from my channel coming in the new year, which we are already a week into, but we're not gonna talk about that. You know, I've been busy eating my face off, you know, like not literally, like I'm not eating. Why would I say literally? Like that makes no sense. But anyway, I just wanna talk a little bit about my channel, what you can expect coming up from me and what you can't expect coming up from me. I, um, I kind of fell off the bandwagon of loving booktube for a while there and it had nothing to do with booktube but with a lot of things that I was experiencing outside in my real life and I realized that because I was so into the booktube world I kind of let some things start to slip on the wayside and that included my mental health which is kind of like you know you know it went it went down here down here on the, on the floor so I, I just I kind of wanted to just touch base with you and tell you what you can expect from my channel coming up the number one thing that I want to do this year when it comes to my reading is not put reading as my only hobby I this year let go of every single one of my hobbies. I would say no to going out with friends. I would, and not because I wanted to sometimes, but because I felt this need to say no, to stay home, to read. So I actually kind of let some of my friendships suffer. And that's, that's in no way Booktube's fault, by the way. That's my fault for wanting this unreachable goal that I had where I, you know, I, I, I'm the kind of person that does everything 100% or none at all. And I think that I was trying to do 100% and I let other things fall to the wayside. So one of the goals that I have this year is actually to read less. Last year I had read, I think 140 books or 139 books or something like that. We're gonna round it to 140. But this year I wanna read less and do other things more. Of course, that means that my booktube content might suffer a little bit and that's something else that I want to touch with you, which is I was doing strictly three videos a week, every week, Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. I'm still going to be trying to do that, but if I post two videos one week, one video one week, I'm trying not to make that like some horrific thing that I have to fix, you know, like some horrible idea that Monica, oh my God, okay, I'm sorry, this angle's driving me crazy. Okay, I'm sorry for the change of angle, you know me. I can't make up my mind, but anyway, so yeah, I was like driving myself crazy, driving myself, I wasn't sleeping, I wasn't sleeping in order to get these videos out, and I don't wanna do that anymore. So yeah, I'm trying, I'm going to still, like my goal, my hair, what the hell? I'm, my goal is still to do three videos a week, but if you don't get a video from me one week, I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not gonna go crazy over it. It's not, it's not worth it, not because you're not worth it, you are totally worth it for me in my heart. My, like the people that follow me because they like my personality and they like my crazy shit, I, I you are worth it. What's not worth it to me is like keeping up to a schedule, which sometimes I know people can't even keep up with the amount of videos that I'm putting out. So yes, I'm gonna try to do my best to keep it Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, but you know, if you get a video Monday and Friday one week, maybe I didn't have anything to post on Wednesday, or maybe I didn't want to, or I didn't have time to edit, or to make a thumbnail, or all of those crazy things that comes with being a booktuber. So one of the things that I want to do this year is to take off the, like, mental load that I put on myself thinking that if I don't put out a certain amount of content nobody's going to be interested in my channel which is not true so there you go 
The other thing that I want to do this year that I think <laughs> that this is something that I've been thinking about a lot and it's been really weighing on me is buying physical books. I realized that I don't enjoy buying physical books and reading physical books as much as I do buying ebooks and reading ebooks or audiobooks. Of course, if I read an ebook or an audiobook that I really like and I find the physical book for a fair price, which for me a fair price depends, you know, where I'm buying from. Um, I, I will buy it just because I want to own this book that I read that I really loved but I just can't keep buying physical books and not reading them it's ridiculous like now this whole shelf is mine and this other shelf is mine and it's it's a lot it's a lot and it's unnecessary I have I have a hair in my mouth Hang on. this is why I'm not scared of getting the vaccine because I just had a legit cat hair in my mouth where has that hair come from Hmm. Anyway, um, yeah, so the physical book buying is becoming a problem, has become a problem. And the reality is, I don't even enjoy reading the physical books. Like, I'll buy the physical book and the ebook just so that I can read the ebook. This is stupid. This is a stupid situation that I find myself in. So, instead of that i'm just going to go with my gut and you know what if i have to put up a picture and that leads to less engagement and anything if you're only here for me to hold up a book i can hold up a book look here here's a book i can hold up a book and talk about a completely different book i just don't think it's worth putting myself through the ringer of buying physical books and the, the physical space that they take because of my booktube channel you know i will happily buy them on ebook read them talk to you about them we can do that we got this baby okay so that's another thing that you can expect from my channel um i'm I still get the urge to buy physical books, but it's because I want to please you, my audience. But I think my audience likes this mess more than they like, you know, the, the physical stack. So <laughs> I hope you do. So that's another thing that you can expect from me. The other thing that you can expect from me is I'm going to continue to read BIPOC authors. I'm going to continue to read as much as I can. Um, last year, I kind of fell into it. Like I fell into this whole BIPOC, especially Asian authors and indigenous authors. I think that's where like my niche is. Um, uh, but I'm going to actively continue to seek out these authors. I also want to seek out more Latin American authors. I feel that it's kind of, kind of funny that I'm a Latin American woman um, living in Spain. By the way, some people thought that I was Spanish. I'm not Spanish. I'm Latin American. I'm from Venezuela. Born and raised. Not born and raised. I was raised in the U.S. Whatever. This is a tangent. But the point is, I want to do more... Um, uh, Latin American authors. Um, I want to do more research and stuff like that. So yeah, that's that. And along with that, there isn't much else that I can say or, 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 or anything that I have like, oh, this is the 21 books that I want to read or this is that. No, no, no. I, I don't have that. I want to get my physical TBR down, but don't we all? Like, isn't that like something everybody says? And then in the end, you ne we never do. But I do want to stop buying physical books just to show them to you and just to hold them up unless it's a book that I really loved and then I'm going to cherish and things like that. I also want to stop buying from Amazon as much but as you all know I have a video about that about how not buying from Amazon is actually a privilege and a privilege that I myself sometimes can afford and sometimes can't afford. I am an autonomous worker. If you don't know what that means, is that my income depends on how much work I have in a month. So if I have a lot of work, then yay, we can buy from independent bookstores that are going to charge me a lot for shipping. And if I don't work a lot that month, like the month of January, then, you know, that's just not going to happen. So, and... The last thing I want to do is I just want to continue to make videos that make me happy. I think I had fallen into this like of 
making videos for the sake of making videos oh, because my mental health wasn't in the right place my mental health is still up and down it goes up and down and i don't want to force myself just because i have this platform because even because this platform should be an escape for me it is an escape for me it's a wonderful place for me to be and honestly that's it that that's just pretty much it um and i i just the last thing I want to say is that this is not a resolution. This is not anything. I just want to say a thank you. Thank you for everyone that stuck with me when I wasn't feeling well. Thank you for everyone that messaged me. I want to thank Rachel from the um, Shades of Orange. She always messages me when she knows that something's going on. Um, thank you, Rachel. Jesse, Sarah, Elfie, um, all of you have made my experience on booktube just more than i could ever hope for you know really really and here's to a new year let's come into this bitch slowly you know let's not declare this the end of you know the virus or whatever and my camera's flashing at me so i gotta go but you know i'll catch you in another galaxy far far away <laughs> Bye.